Welcome to Mike's Yoga Channel and welcome to this simple daily lower body stretch. When you're ready, roll your mat, grab some water, and let's get started. Okay everyone, so let's begin by coming into a deer pose, otherwise commonly referred to as a 90-90 stretch. So essentially what we're doing is we're creating two 90 degree angles in both of our legs. So let's start by placing our right leg in front of us, keeping this right knee in line with the right hip, 90 degree angle in the right leg, right foot is flexed, and let's bring our left leg behind us, keeping this left knee in line with the left hip, 90 degree angle in that left leg, left foot is flexed. Hands can just rest by your side, sit up nice and tall. As always, come back to your breath. You should feel a really nice stretch in the left hip here. And on your next exhale, very mindfully release. We're just going to take it over to the other side. So let's bring our left leg in front of us, our right leg behind us. Again, keeping the left knee in line with the left hip. 90 degree angle in the left leg. Left foot is flexed. Right knee in, li in line with the right hip. 90 degree angle. Right foot is flexed. And resting by your side. Sit up nice and tall. And maybe you notice how this side might feel a little bit different. I know for me, this side is a bit more tighter. So just be mindful. And on your next exhale, release. From here, we're gonna be doing a few different head to knee poses. So let's start by placing our right leg out long, keeping this right foot flexed towards you. Left foot can just hug into that right thigh. From here on your next inhale, let's bring the hands up towards the sky. Exhale, shift a little bit towards that right leg and then melt it forward, really breathing into the back of the right leg, breathing into the calf, the hamstring. And on your next exhale, mindfully release, roll it back up. Again, we'll take that over to the other side. So extending this left leg long, keeping that left foot flexed towards you, hugging our right foot into the left thigh. And from here on your next inhale, lift the hands up. Exhale, shift a little bit towards that left leg and then melt it forward. Again, really breathing into the back of the left leg here.
Next exhale, mindfully release. From here, let's bring both legs along and we'll come into a wide-legged forward fold. So only bring your feet as wide as to a point where you don't feel any pain or discomfort in the hips or anywhere else. So if you are feeling any pain or discomfort, that likely means you've brought your feet out too wide. So if that's the case, just bring it in a little bit. And from here, we can just bring our hands out in front of us again, breathing into the back of both legs, keeping both feet flexed. And on your next exhale, mindfully release. Awesome job, you guys. From here, we'll come into our final head to knee pose. So now let's bring both legs together, keeping both feet flexed towards you. Again, inhale, lift the hands up. Exhale, melt it forward, grabbing onto the feet or the toes if you can. If you can, that's okay. You can just let your hands rest where they naturally fall. And on your next exhale, mindfully release. From here, let's make our way onto our backs. Take your time getting there. And then once we do get here, let's bring our knees into our chest, wrap your hands around your knees, give yourself a nice big hug. Feel free to rock side to side, massaging the spine. And now from here, let's come up into a happy baby pose. So. Essentially, we're grabbing the outsides of our feet, bringing the soles of the feet up towards the sky. In this pose, really trying to keep the full spine rooted in the mat. So if the lower back's coming up off the mat like this, see if you can dial it all the way down. And on your next exhale, release. From here, bring the soles of the feet down into the mat, keeping the legs parallel with each other. We'll come into a reclined pigeon pose. So let's start by stepping our right foot over our left thigh. And now from here, lifting our left leg up off the mat, keeping the left foot flexed as well as the right, and keeping this left calf parallel with the ground. And now from here, we can thread our arms through, grabbing a hold of the back of the left leg. You should definitely feel a nice stretch in the right hip here. Exhale, release. We'll simply just take that over to the other side. So keeping the soles of the feet rooted in the mat, this time we'll step our left foot over the right, lift that right leg up off the mat, keeping both feet flexed, keeping that right calf parallel with the ground, threading your hands through, grabbing hold of the back of the right leg, again, maybe notice how this one might feel different. I know for me, this left hip is way more tighter than the other. Next 
exhale, let's release. From here, we'll come into a reclined butterfly, bringing the soles of the feet together, letting the knees open up wide, letting the hips open up naturally. A couple options with your hand, you can let them rest by your sides, or you can have one hand up on the belly, the other one on the heart. I encourage you to close your eyes here as well. One of my favorite hip openers. And now from here on your next exhale, let's extend both legs out long, extend both arms out long, coming into final Shavasana, letting the mind and the body reap all the benefits from today's practice. So I encourage you to stay here for as long as you like, or if you're ready to go, we can rock up coming into a seated position of your choice. Wherever you are, let's bring your hands together at our heart. Thank you all so much for sharing your time and your energy with me today. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. From here, let's bring your hands up to our third eye. The light me honors the light in all of you. Thank you so much. Namaste.